Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Pinstar Plays Against the Storm Settlement 3 Episode 3. So we should be wrapping this one in this episode, but we're um, we're pushing things pretty aggressively, which I mean that's kind of my thing. Um, we have, everyone is actually uh, on duty, but we did get our set of newcomers. I think we will go for this group over here. They're slightly more. Um, and, uh, you know, Amber's always good. Uh, coats are, I mean, we're making our own coats, but those are always welcome too. Um, and vegetables are always good. And we need more warm bodies just to, just to get stuff done around here. Um, because we have our clothier. Oh, wait, why do we only have one person in the distillery? Oh, yeah, uh, we need to do... Our porridge isn't looking real good here. I wish we could cook beans or... Yeah, man, a grain farm would do so many good things right now. Also, I think for our blueprint here, I think we're gonna go temple again. Yes, I know this is gonna, this is the, I'm three for three with the temple, but I mean, the race makeup makes sense for it. And we have the ability to make both incense and um, um, scrolls. So to temple makes too much sense. But before I start building the temple, um, we've got, yeah, we need people in the druid's hut. Uh, Harpy. Harpy. Um, yeah, we want incense. Uh, resin. That's what we're going to use the incense for, or make the incense out of. Uh, and we're absolutely going to be burning that for oil. Um, you. We need metal of some sort. You are technically metal and also vegetables. Eh, uh, I already locked. Oh no, I didn't lock this in yet. Well, we have the training gear. Yeah, this actually kind of works um, to make more tools. Plus 40 vegetables is 40 vegetables. Can we make, I need to remind myself, can we make, oh yeah, so the scrolls are going to be something we're going to make soon. Um, that actually can come from plant fiber, not, and wood actually. And I mean, we've got excess wine. We can make pigment too, but we'll start with the wine. Actually, you know what, you guys start with, uh, you guys make scrolls first. Also, we're going to put a limit here of like 30. Yeah, we'll put a limit of 30 coats here. Um, crop. Yes, we can do vegetables. So getting 40 uh, vegetables will actually let us finish that quest. So yeah, we're actually going to smash it. I will make sure that people are not eating their veggies. We do have this. Um, and I determined that, yes, I want to crack this one open. But let's le let our people do their thing first. In fact, I'm going to take you out for just a second. Yeah, I really, really want this plantation to come down quickly so that we can actually start planting it. Uh, right, there's our rainproof coats. And five more people. That's our final blueprint uh, showing up here. So let's see, let's, let's make it count. All right, uh, there's our pie and biscuits. Um, what can we fill our pies with again? Uh, berries, we can make berry pie. 
Um, we just don't have anything really good for producing the raw materials that go into flour. I mean, ranch would be pretty darn good uh, too. Meat, leather, eggs, because um, that gives us because uh, ultimately this meat is this meat and leather is going to be going away soon that would actually well again we can't take that and also get the pies skewers probably aren't going to work either and i still want to do the pie because if i can import flour or raw materials for flour we can do that plus biscuits. Um, and that also gives us the ability to make pottery. So yeah, it makes too much sense. But first, I think we're going to build our temple. Wow, we have a lot of cloth. We should put a cap on cloth, honestly. Um... That's coats. Oh yeah, we'll put a limit on scrolls to 20. We will put, where's a clothier? Where did I put our clothier? Not up here, right? No. Not a clothier. Are we uh, leather? Yeah, there we go. Leather worker. Uh, so we're going to put a limit of 50 on you. I will turn on pigments for you. Uh, we'll burn some copper ore because we're not doing anything else with the copper ore. All right, nothing, well, we can't say, well, we'll, we'll be, we might be able to send something out once one of our traders comes back in. Um, right, yeah, you want, we want drizzle water for you. Because we get bonus, plus three to drizzle water collection. Yeah, and yeah, we need the crop packs first. We're gonna have two people working on this for, for a hot minute. All right, we've got a root ready to roll. Soon to be two. Um, yeah, we can, well, no, we can't sell that. We can sell this. Yeah, 10 packs of trade goods. Off you go. All right, we did have our next route come in, but it does not look like we have anything. Yeah, not clay. We could sell one wine. Not enough provisions. When's our next trader coming? Metal fuel tools build and number of blueprints and eh. He's not gonna be what we need. I mean, we can still do berry pies. Oh yeah. You're not going to have much time, but get in there. And yeah, you start making us some tools. I'm fearful. I mean, I want to. Hang on. Let's get you guys here. Send to the Citadel. I kind of want to just crack these two open just to because I want some some smaller stuff. 
I'm okay with the extra threat generation. It's going to push me into th three, which piercing winds. Yeah. Um, maybe we don't push you to three. What are you up to? We could always build another hearth. Do build another hearth. Might as well. Not probably going to have enough population. Actually, there's eight homeless people. So we can put the eight homeless people here. Um, so we have... Yeah, we need a human house here. Uh, we need a harpy house here. We'll do two harpy houses here. And then a lizard house up here. Actually, we need two lizard houses, not two harpy houses. And then while we're we're thinking about it, a park so that this can level up. There we go. All right, so you use berries. And we need to tell you to not consume flour for trade goods. You can use pottery for trade goods though. Not no pigments for trade goods. Barrels for trade goods fine. We're not making water skins, so there you go. Uh pies take priority. Uh, let's get a Yeah, it's better All right, we got our packs of crops um, which means we can get rid of this crap That gives us that gives us some wheat, which we can use for or some grain rather, which we can use for this. Let me just make sure grain is not being consumed raw. I don't think it can be. Let's make sure it's not being consumed for flour. I don't want it to be. Oh yeah, packs of provisions can, you can stop. What do we got here? Um, 20 wine. 20 wine, off you go. We'll plop a harpy house right here. Well, we got a few crops over here. Better than a poke in the eye with the sharp stick. We might get our last thing out of rep uh, if we get a bunch of people up here. 
Oh yeah, we gotta build our temple. That'll be a kill that'll be a rep kill shot right there. Yeah, I'm glad we're getting plenty heat here. Oh? Oh yeah. Um Oh yeah, I'm gonna Well yeah, I was gonna actually not open up these glades because we're right on the cusp. Probably needed another lumber mill, honestly speaking. Lizards are not in good spirits right now. Oh, but pies were just delivered. Uh, we got people. I'm actually probably not going to accept them. Because that's going to push things over the limit. Uh, not selling berries, absolutely not. Oh, yeah, we need more provisions. We are going to use that for that. Also, did I have did I not have jerky from the kiln, I believe? Yeah, we're making jerky. Yeah, we're right on the edge here, um, but doing it through trade routes is going to take a little bit. Yeah, they harvested up everything they planted in quick order. Why are the lizards so upset? Oh, do we not have bricks? Um, kiln. We don't have... Alright, I'll let you use some stone for some bricks. Are we cooking... Oops. Are we cooking packs of provisions? Yes, we are. We have until the end of the season to actually execute those trade routes. But because they're asking for trade goods and we've got oodles canoodles of those, then we'll be okay. Alright, we made a successfully made a thing of porridge. Yeah, have another thing of porridge. Yeah, we're moving you. We're not letting you crack open those those glades. You can just nibble around here. There we go. Packs of provisions. That's a lot. We're probably going to win the level before this one completes, but I still want to do... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. All right. So we got this up and going. Flame Keeper, get... Our final quests are upon us. Have a harpy... Oh, we win. We we just straight up win. Nothing else matters. We need to have harpies for 30 seconds. So as long as this storm doesn't kill all of them, we're, we're golden. So yeah, this, this village was definitely carried on the backs of the harpies. Done. Boom. Harpy settlement. 
Win a game with at least 25 harpies. Yes. Our, the harpy conquest is, uh, is, is real. Forbidden events completed. Nice. Appreciate of Nod. Rider of the Storm. Town. Guildsman. Yeah, 100 amber. 30 trade routes. Back to the world map. All right. Let's process. Let's let's reap our rewards, and see what kind of goodies we can get, and start our our next town. All right. Let's actually cash in our deeds. So thirty trade routes, good for another fifty. Twenty-five harpies. Ooh, just barely crossed us over to the level. So what we got here? The apothecary makes us tea in. Ooh. Better tea, incense, and biscuits. That's a good one. Smithy. Oh, we got, we found the smithy before. Well, we were, yeah. Forester's Hut. Resin crystallized dew. And it uses farm fields for that. Interesting. Uh, the market. Uh, luxury treatment. Smugglers. Vita shady character. Shitty character in your settlement. You can use, choose one bl blueprint from all unlocked blueprints. That's nice. Stormwalker training. Villagers learn to travel the wilderness from the very best. War Royal Stormwalkers. Uh, all trade routes are faster by 40%. Beautiful. All right. Let's look at our upgrades. All right, so we've got 47 bread, um, 16 machinery, 35 artifacts, but I'm not, I, I can't keep lunging along this line. Let's go back and let's circle back and get some low hanging fruit. So you give us extra reputation picks. Absolutely. Um, and a blueprint reroll. I think that's pretty good. But then again, we have other good ones. So starting off with five planks and five, five uh, 3% faster for traders to come here. Not too shabby. Uh, villager speed and embarkation points plus one. I still think the blueprint reroll is our most potent upgrade here. And that's it for the bread. We have everything else that we can use later. So yeah, all of these are going to take place in the sealed forest. Um, okay, you don't you don't land on the seal itself. You have to touch the seal. Okay, um, and this will be our last map where, provided we win, which is not a guarantee, but provided we win, we, um, uh, we're definitely going to bump up our difficulty after this. But this is extra difficult on itself. This, I've never tackled one of the seals, so let's see what we have here. So we can do five humans and a beaver or seven beavers, which I'm inclined to do because you come with some really good stuff like including extra people seven beavers it is now i don't know who the other races are but that's okay um so we've got um abyssal revenge woodcutters don't increase hostility but for every 10 felled trees add two hostility point oh my Hidden seal. A broken ancient seal is hidden somewhere in the forest. Right. Beacon tower. The blueprint given to you by the... This powerful ancient structure will allow you to summon aid directly from the citadel and overgrown vegetation. Flora in this region is bizarrely mutated. Overgrown trees with a lot more resource charges can be found in the forest. That's good. Because that lets us cut down fewer trees. Uh, the trees themselves have meat sea marrow and leather and the general ambiance good mix of stuff um more people is more better um more wood so that we can cut down less um we technically have clay so we should technically take stone and yes we are going to tap into our reserves here because this is a boss fight and we take those seriously um think we go roots
And we go clay. All right, folks. Embark. All right. Uh, let's see. No contact. Harsh weather conditions make it impossible to reach the Citadel. Gaining reputation doesn't lower impatience as long as it's it, only active during the hostility, too. That's not too bad. Uh, strong gust of wind. All right. We saw that one. That's not too bad. Hunger storm. This thing, even a single meal in this harsh climate can be deadly. If villagers don't have anything to eat during a break, they will have they will gain two stacks of hunger. All right. Preventable. All right. What's our good? What's our good things here? Golden dust. Some raindrops here have golden hue. Gain five clearance water for every. Eh, I'm not into the water that much. Plants seem to grow exceptionally fast in the store. All buildings using fertile soil produce 50% more goods during the drizzle season. Crops collected during clearance also benefit from this effect. I was about to say, that's when you harvest them. So, all right, good. So farming is a thing. Um, humans and harpies and, oh, we don't have any lizards. That's actually good because I'm not a huge fan of the lizards. All right, folks. Ah, uh, this is kind of creepy. So in our next episode, it's boss time. So until next time, so if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, it's been Pinstar signing out. See ya.